Hi, everyone, and welcome back to the final day of the mini masterclass. Thank you so much for being a part of this, and I hope you're all learning lots. Once again, my name is Talia, and I am a registered holistic nutritionist, and I specialize in mental wellness, specifically anxiety. So just learning how to eat to curb your anxiety. So today's final anxiety trigger of the day is caffeine. So caffeine is a stimulant, meaning it raises your heart rate, increases your blood flow, raises your body temperature and blood sugar. And as you probably know, caffeine can be quite addictive. Um, and the more you drink it, the more you actually build up a tolerance. So some of you may be more sensitive to caffeine than others and experience side effects. And some of these side effects might be increased anxiety, nervousness, sleeping issues, restlessness, and excessive urination because caffeine is a diuretic. And withdrawal symptoms can also be very common, um, also very similar to the side effects of caffeine itself. So if you do find that caffeine doesn't give you anxiety, still be mindful because conventionally grown caffeine is usually sprayed with tons of pesticides and herbicides and mold actually grows on the coffee beans itself, which creates an ideal environment for parasites and just other pathogenic bacteria, which then can lead to lots of health, um, sorry, gut health imbalances. So I'm sure you've heard people talk about the benefits or positive effects of coffee, um, but here are some of the side effects that can happen. So caffeine can disrupt your sleep as it is a stimulator and it can deplete serotonin and melatonin, which is what promotes a restful sleep. It also can aggravate uh, symptoms of PMS and increase breast tenderness. Um, it can deplete a lot of essential vitamins and minerals, so B vitamins, vitamin C, potassium, magnesium, calcium, and zinc. Um, and then it also suppresses your appetite, which then can lead to skipping meals. And as we discussed over the last few days, when we skip meals, our blood sugars become imbalanced, which then leads to really intense cravings, which then can lead to sugar highs and then sugar crashes if we do eat some um, a lot of like refined sugar or refined carbs. And then that also just leads to more mood swings and more anxiety more irritability. So just going back to that vicious cycle that we also talked about. Uh, so just be mindful that if you are experiencing poor sleep and you do find that it is suppressing your appetite to the point that you don't eat, that caffeine may be an anxiety trigger for you. So if you're a coffee lover, but you experience the unwanted side effects that often come with caffeine, such as anxiety, jitters, headaches, L-theanine has been shown to give you the benefits of coffee, but counteract those unwanted side effects. So L-theanine has been a huge help for me personally. Uh, I try to mix up my coffee intake um, with other non-caffeinated drinks, but when I do drink coffee, depending on how I'm feeling that day, and if I end up getting super anxious, I will take an L-theanine. Um, so L-theanine is a not natural non-drowsy alternative to medication. So it's an amino acid that helps relieve stress. It promotes relaxation throughout the day, and it's definitely beneficial for a better night's sleep. It also improves concentration and focus, and it's beneficial for anxiety as it increases dopamine and GABA receptors for the brain. So um, I love taking this. Um, it's honestly really great. <laughs> So as I mentioned, I do try to switch up my coffee intake for other forms of either less caffeinated drinks or non-caffeinated drinks. Um, my favorite go-to is definitely a good quality matcha latte or a chai tea. Um, it does still have small amounts of caffeine, but I actually love to mix maca powder in it. So maca is derived from a plant in Peru, and it's extremely nutritious. It's been associated with reducing anxiety and symptoms of depression, um, particularly in menopausal women. Um, I also love putting it in my smoothie in the morning for a natural boost as it also enhances your mood. Um, so as you can see, you've got herbal teas on there. So licorice, lemon, ginger, mint, we've got chicory root, magnesium, rich carob, uh, rooibos tea, and then golden milk and then organic reishi. So reishi coffee is amazing too, as it has been tested for mold, um, and has amazing benefits like detoxification, inflammation, reducing inflammation, balancing your immune, immune system hormonal support, and it also helps balance your blood sugar levels. So any of these are all great swaps just for your traditional Starbucks or Tim Hortons coffee. I know that caffeine can definitely be a tricky one. 
One thing to keep in mind though, and it's very important to think of and be aware of is if you can't function without your morning coffee or coffee throughout the day, you need to get to the root cause of your fatigue. You should not be needing three to six cups of coffee just to get you throughout the day. And I know lots of people who do. There's lots of possible reasons for your fatigue. It could be food sensitivities, amino acid deficiency, adrenal fatigue, um, from stress, stress is a huge one, um, underactive thyroid, anemia, poor sleep. There could be lots of reasons. Um, if you do think that this could be you, please reach out to me. I would love to get help you get to the root cause of where your fatigue is coming from. If your body systems are balanced and our circadian rhythm, which is our body's internal master clock, is um, in sync, then we are meant to be naturally energized throughout the day. And cortisol is released in the morning, giving you that boost and that energy. And then it naturally declines throughout the day. And then towards the afternoon, evening, your serotonin should naturally increase to help us wind down for the evening. So that's just how our body is synced up. And usually if you're really tired, it, it means that there's obviously an underlying root cause to it. So this was a kind of more quick session today, but I just wanted to thank you all for the support. If you would like a chance to win one of these prizes, one is a super yummy matcha latte powder that you can mix with water or milk. And the L-theanine is what we just talked about. You can email me um, to enter. You email me with three things that you found interesting over the last three days. Um, a change that you will be making and your lifestyle based on what we've discussed the last three days and then what you would like to see more of and any advice or feedback would be awesome. So just email me that at talia at yourholistichaven.ca and I will be announcing the winner um, August 20th. So I really hope that you all enjoyed the last three days and learned something valuable. I think it's so important to bring awareness to these anxiety triggers. If you are having a hard time deciphering what's contributing to your anxiety, I would love to give you the opportunity to work with me. I use a natural approach using evidence-based nutrition and lifestyle protocols that will help you get to the root cause of any of your health concerns. And it will help you get control of your anxiety, increase your energy, and then just get rid of any additional symptoms that weigh you down. So maybe you have a lot of brain fog, poor concentration, mood swings, um, really high levels of stress. All of these are system imbalances and they can be fixed. So as I started my journey in holistic nutrition, probably about five years ago, um, I was applying everything to myself that I've been learning, especially in the mental health aspect, just because I have always struggled with pretty bad anxiety. And when I started to see such a huge difference in my energy levels and being able to get a grip on my anxiety, um, I was amazed at the power of nutrition which is what led me to creating my program, The Mental Milestone Method, um, which is targeted to help keep your anxiety at bay, increase your energy and just level out your mood. So it's a 12 week program. I do a comprehensive assessment to get to the root cause of your anxiety. And then after that, I create a personalized protocol made just for you with nutrition, uh, maybe supplementation if needed and lifestyle practices. Uh, lots of amazing, delicious recipes, tips and tricks to save money um, at the store and lots of resources just to help you get throughout the program. And then included in that will be one-on-one -on -one coaching with me via Zoom bi-weekly. So you'll have as much support as you need. Um, one thing that I love is I use a non-restrictive approach. I focus on foods in rather than foods out, because once you start to bring balance back to your body systems, your cravings, if you do have them that are pretty bad, um, but your cravings for processed food, junk food um, will minimize. And when you learn how the foods you eat can help calm your anxious mind and improve your mood. You will generally genuinely enjoy eating well-balanced meals and you're going to feel so much better and so much less anxious. And once this happens, these possible anxiety triggers might not be as triggering once you've gone through my program. Uh, so I am offering 25% off to all of you. Um, if you email me with the code milestone25, I would love to give you more information and I can sign you up or we can hop on a quick call to see how I can help you. So thank you once again, all for the support. You can reach me at 
my email. I have linked my Instagram as well as my website, which also does have all my information on the mental milestone method. So it's been a fun three days and I appreciate all the support. Thank you.